my mom and dad always tried to move us into good good communities where there was good people so we didn't have to deal with a lot of the criminal element which is really difficult you know cuz anywhere you go there there's criminal element you know it's, anywhere there's money there's you know wherever Beamer goes you know that I'm driving right there was two uh, guys, they, they busted a tail light, they said I had a busted tail light. They said I better have something waiting for him. I had something waiting for him, right? A lot of you guys don't know, guy, uh, Gangstar. But uh, yes, yeah, my, my favorite rap group, uh, the Javon Roof Peak Girl is talking about. Now the best rap song uh, of all time is Skills. <laughs> Skills, the peep the recital. No, I, I, it's a, it's the music the street loves, right? Gangstar. No, it's very positive. It shows great uh, lyrical, ac acrobatic lyrics. It's, it's 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 probably one of the best rap songs ever. Is Skills. You know, there are other ones that are a lot of fun, like um, you know. Uh, Jam on it by Nucleus and uh, uh, yeah, because it's jam on it by Nucleus. A lot of class, okay. Not disrespectful, not that. I don't learn to rock. There's a few things that are a little, you know, super square, but it's no, that's that's uh, that's the Hank, okay. And to, to, yeah, yeah, Nucleus is a little bit more classy. And the ground began to move, and then we rocked his butt with a 12 inch up of disco kryptonite. I'll <laughs> Cosmo be from outer space, and I'm here to rock the human race. We do it right because we can't do it wrong. That's why no, it's no, uh, Jam on It by Nucleus is one of the best rap songs ever because it's just it's fun, it's just these guys having fun, and then just talk. It, it's now it's a really good rap song. Yeah. Jam on it by Nucleus. It's Cosmo. It's they, they're just having fun, and and they and they 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 rock to the beat. It's it's really good. Okay. It's it's and it's and it's fairly classy. Just Superman looked up at me and said, "You rock so naturally." Yeah, it's very you know. My my mama brought me a brand new toy, two turntables and a mic, and I learned to rock like a dolomite. Yeah, go crazy, go crazy. Don't let your lot be hazy. Don't stop the body rock till your side starts to get hazy. No, it's Nucleus is jam on it is is one of the best rap songs of all time because it's just about getting together, having a good time, and and they, they it's there's a lot of dignity in class. There's there's no. Uh, you know, uh, super squirm with the girl. It's, you know, it's just pretty much respectful and just, you know, let's all show up at the dance and, and be good guys, you know, and have fun. And it's, you see my sister Murgatroyd? It's funny. You know, it's, it's very funny. It's got comedy. It's, it's a very good rap, right? And so, yeah, some of my favorite raps, you know, I one of my other favorite raps is, is The Message by um, Grandmaster Flash. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from under because it's 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 a it's a rap that's just about it's social commentary. You know, it's probably based off of you know how can we do something a lot like Marvin Gaye's "What's Going On," which is one of my favorite albums of all time, right? And so, um, uh, because that's what we grew up with, and that's what we were dealing with. You know, we had a large uh, dose of brain damage. We didn't have places where you could get off and have people that were just trying to do the right thing. And do it sincerely. You know, sincerely, because I love you so dearly. Which is also a good song from the 1950s. I think it's the 50s. But on my... <laughs> um, guys, uh, the people from Z Guys the movies, you know, the, the, the Rockefellers, you know, the Aaron Russo thing and everything like that. They, they know what they're doing 50 years in advance. They have plans. Okay, They have battle plans. And... If you read the the Bible and the book of Revelation, you know, it's if you read Job, okay. The devil has a battle plan to bring down the good ones cuz everybody will fall from grace. Everybody will fall from faith and grace. So everybody will deny God at one time or another and question their faith in God. Okay. Now, I don't question my faith in God. I question what the wackadoodles will do to keep proving themselves right because they're such great philosophers. <laughs> That's what I do. The other night when I was feeling real crappy, laid my bed down to head to rest, and I got that asshole and his friends from Lowe's, you know. Well, what if you're wrong about this and that? It's like, I'm not wrong. Guys, John talks to me and I talk to him. It's obvious. John wrote it down. It's about my life. In a cave in North Africa a long, long time ago. Okay. So we're connecting spiritually. 
Okay, it's one faithful person talking to another faithful person and saying, when this weird, wake me up if we go to heaven, let me sleep if we go to hell. Could you just turn it off for a minute? I, you know, I just, well, no, no, we got to jam up. It's pata pata time. Shit, not again. You know why they had pata pata time? Because they were servants and slaves, okay, for the whole week. And on the weekend, they got away and got to be with their family and stuff. So it's like, you know how it's like when, uh, you remember on that movie, The Other Guys? And, you know, like in the military, you know, me and law would get back together and we would fuck each other raw. Okay. We couldn't, I'd get back home. We couldn't have sex for the rest of my leave because the first day we went in there, we went buck wild and we ripped the skin off the side of our genitalia because we couldn't have it for six months at a time. Because the military is sick. Okay. And the corporations that provide the situation for the military are sick, right? Yeah. So um, there is no mystery. I just have to help teach people how not to be stupid. That's just what I do. Okay. Um, I don't believe that, um, and I'm not being Pollyanna, I don't believe that, that, uh, that uh, Javon and, and, and Jennifer are evil. Okay. I believe they were like me, trapped in hell, thinking, okay, if I play in the NBA, I can get my family to a place where we're comfortable and safe and, you know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? The reason why Superior Arizona sucks so bad, okay, according to that movie, is because Phoenix sucks. Okay? Sun Yet Sen, a farmer in the cabo, she'd be friends. Um, they've gone as just far as they can go in Kansas City. Um, it... it Seven years in Tibet, you can try to go to the paradise ends of the earth and these wackadoodles will still find you. Like me and Amy Sue in Sierra Vista. Why don't we go to Jamaica? Why don't we go do this? It's like, and that one guy at the library will go to the Philippines. Why would I go to the Philippines and watch people live in object poverty when I can do that here from uh, uh, Las Cruces to Juarez? Hell, it's a trailer park down the road. Okay, <laughs> you understand I can just go, uh, I, you tell me I should go to the Phili Philippines to, you know, watch my poor people be tortured? Are you kidding? I eat at the soup kitchen, right? <laughs> They're always like, well, you worked hard for your money. Just get people that worked hard for, you guys kill for money. I don't. Okay. That's what most of my fellow military vets don't understand. I won't kill people for money. They will. Okay. If someone comes up to me, like, you know, old Nathan Algren's character in Last Samurai, I'll gladly kill you for free. I won't gladly kill you for free, but you don't have to pay me money to kill you to stop from talking to other people and to killing people over money. I'll do it, bitch. Right on the spot. Okay? And I don't have to kill people, okay, with the, uh, you can kill a man with bullets, poison, or a knife, but it uh, it hurts him more to take his pride and run his life. I, I your pride is vanity, like that kid yesterday at the store. All right, and I'm sitting there telling him, you know, we got to get people. He's sitting there. Oh, I'd kill you for that. It's like it's already happening, you stupid fucking cow. You sign contracts ratified by Congress and the Supreme Court that allow pervert scientists to watch you and your girlfriend have sex and masturbate to it. And you don't even get paid money for it like Kim Kardashian and her beau. You want to try to kill me now, you little fucking Packerwood? Or do you want to stand up for the Lord's Prayer so I don't have to kick your ass again? You know when you've had your ass kicked by a man. Trust me. Okay? He will straighten you the fuck out. You will never say anything that fucking stupid in front of him again. You walk up, I'm so sorry. Remember what happened with Soup Kitchen with the guy with the bike and the young black man? And he came back, when I came back the next day to pick up the donation thing, he came and apologized to me and said I was uh, correct and he was wrong. And he had a girl and he was a cute kid and he didn't want to go back to jail. Okay. I was like, you're not like the dude with the two shanks who likes having sex with men in jail and would rather fuck men in the ass in jail than be out here with your girl and trying to make it, you know, uh, out of incarceration, you know, be able to uh, go out and go for a walk, walk among the trees and watch kids play. Now, that's how that young, attractive black man was. 
It's fun to watch the kids play. It's fun to play video games with them. You go to jail, all you get to do is fuck people in the ass, do drugs, and keep yourself in the pecking order of the of the pecker woods on the pussy plantation that uh, rather fuck ass. You know what I'm saying? Okay, sure. Because I've been saying it for a long time. All right. And so, oh, this place sucks. Okay. Uh, Las Cruces, um, life's eternal and grace is infinite. Okay. The people at the core of this rotten apple know just exactly how much they fucking suck. And it's not incredible to sit every day and watch people tear people's brains apart and put them back together because they're being abused by blunt force trauma of industrialization. Okay. It's blunt force trauma from industrialization, okay? Brain injuries are caused by things in the environment that cause injury. That's blunt force trauma. No, it's not. Just because an asshole with a bank account tells you something and other people agree to it doesn't mean it's so. Now take your scrubs off and go scrub your, you know, go brainwash yourself. Be open to someone who loves you and isn't afraid of the perverts that are mind-fucking you and your kid to fly around in airplanes and drop bombs on people and saying they're inspiring people at the Amigo Air fucking show. And you got to buy their water. Gosh, damn, people. I told you I'm getting to like this Lopez girl more and more every day. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's trapped in stupid. She's trapped in evil with stupid people. Okay. And when stupid people are trapped in evil, they all got a plan to get out. And I keep telling them, it's been, it's January 22nd, 2025. If you guys wait that long, it'll be 12 years since I gave you a way out. And you said, fuck you. I got a better plan. It's like, there is no plan. Just live the stand up for Lord's prayer. Yeah, that's it. No plan. No plan. You don't want to sell me death sticks. You don't want to sell me pussy. They tried to rot my balls off. I'm too tired to buy your pussy. <laughs> I'm too tired. No. Oh, no. Back in uh, 2018, you know, before the, uh, I went to the hospital with all the, the teeth rotting out of my head and the, and the, um, uh, no, nah, I was in good shape. I could hold my own in bed with any woman on the planet and sit there and say, hey, and, you know, Lola Falana wouldn't be able to leave the $5 on the headboard. Say, oh, no, he wouldn't dare. Nah, she, she gets me on the right day and I'm getting healthier every day. So you wore me out. I didn't mean to. I love you. But, I, you know, but it's not a contest. It's love. I, a long, passionate kiss is way better than a body rocking, knocking the boots fuck. Okay? We're not in a contest. We're not trying to out fuck each other. We're loving each other. Okay? Loving is, you know, when Amy, the first night we were together, she said how romantic and stuff that... Peter was, and I want to show her, okay, I'm about just fucking you. I'm just about being romantic. I put on really nice uh, Johnny Mathis music, some candles, and we just kissed and touched, and it was wonderful. It was exquisite. Our bodies intermingled and touched, and it tingled, and it felt melt. All the sensations in my body were just heightened to the point. It was, it was better than just having sex. We didn't have sex that night. And the sex was good after that, but it didn't last because the Pentagon sucks. Okay. Because you guys are assholes. You can take that to the bank, bitch. All right, I love you. Peace.